this was not my decision to come out. I was actually out quite a bit hmm. already. In 1982, when I was working at UCLA, uh, after I had graduated from law school, because I went back and worked there for a little while, again, trying to figure out what the heck I was going to do, uh, I met and fell in love with a woman named Tori Osborne. And Tori Osborne, in just a few years, was the executive director of the Gay and Lesbian Center. Oops, no closet for me. So I came out to my parents, I came out to my sister, I came out, you know, you do it one at a time. It's actually quite exhausting um, to everybody, really, in the early 80s. What happened was Dick Sargent, who had gone from being on Broadside and then had done Bewitched and was quite a well-known popular actor, was being threatened with being outed in one of the magazines because there were a number of uh, publications in the gay community that were always very upset at people who didn't come out. And so they would threaten to out people. Uh, and Dick was just beside himself. So because we'd been friends all the way back since Broadside, uh, he called and asked me what I thought he should do because I was quite successfully out of the closet. And I said, you know, you have to really come out. And he said, I, I, I can't do that. Will you do it with me? And I said, of course. I mean, I'm, I've done everything but take a sign on Sunset Boulevard. Everybody knows, especially after, uh, you know, the People magazine was about to talk about me again. So we did a rally at the Gay and Lesbian Center in Los Angeles, uh, which was a day when Governor Wilson had vetoed one of the bills that would protect gay people at work from discrimination. He had vetoed the bill. There were large demonstrations. And so there was a rally at the center, and I said, Dick, you should just come, and you should speak about why it's important to be out at work and not to be fired for being out at work. What could be more perfect? And I'll be standing right there with you. You know, they all know I'm gay, so now they're going to know you're gay. So um, he did, and there was immediate interest in some of the uh, talk shows, the, uh, the morning ones. Uh, Good Morning America wanted us to be on, and Geraldo wanted us to be on. And so Dick said, I'll do it if you'll do it with me. And I said, well, I don't want to do Geraldo. I think that's demeaning. And he said, no, 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 that's just exactly the audience we have to talk to. So I said, okay, okay, I'll do whatever you need me to do. So we went on Good Morning America, and we went on uh, Geraldo. And actually, Geraldo got a call, which had been prearranged, but I didn't know it, while we were on the show, and it was Dwayne calling in to say to the audience listening and watching how proud he was of me. Is that generous or what? Now, it didn't get the big play that we thought it would because it happened to be the day that the Anita Hill story broke. <laughs> so we were sort of like kicked off the air, you know, no one was interested. But it was a big step for Dick, and uh, I'm very glad that I did it with him. So talk a little bit about the Good Morning America appearance as well. Well, it was we, we were on it simply th so that Dick could say why he had come out. And I talked about um, how uh, scary it was to be in the industry and to worry every minute that you were going to be outed, to always be looking over your shoulder. And from my experience, and I, I'd been out of the industry for quite a while, so I had nothing to lose, in that profession, how scary it is everywhere We're without, you know, since um, Wilson had just vetoed the bill saying that we were protected at work, how scary it was because you could be fired. You could be demoted. You could be told, I'm not hiring any gay people here. And it wasn't against the law. So my thing, of course, as a lawyer and a law professor was also to say there ought to be a law. It's, you know, it's an important thing to have an anti-discrimination law, and Wilson did a bad thing, which was great. I got to say it on national television. Um, and that's why we were on it, but, but the story was Dick's coming out. For me, there was never a negative reaction. I mean, I, I'll tell you a story for when I ran for office, obviously, because I was the first open gay person, gay or lesbian person, to be elected to the legislature in California. Um, you know, there was plenty of pushback before and after. But from being on those shows and being with Dick, I think he was happier than I've seen him in a long time because there's just nothing 
freer than being yourself. I mean, I think any actor will tell you because a lot of them have a secret, some secret, and uh, whether you know they were abused as children or whatever, alcoholism in the family, their own problem, there's something freeing about simply being fully everyone, everything you are. And I think that Dick was surprised at how positive his experience was. But I already knew it because I'd gone through it.